Was this here before? You will regret coming here. None of it makes sense. Not like none of it makes sense. Uh, potatoes. I need to make these potatoes. I don't have the fuel I need for it. As I was going to do, I was going to head over here. Actually, probably should go to sleep because I am not about to deal with any of the mishaps that could occur from phantoms and things of a like that roam the night. Uh, it's good to reset my spawn point anyways, not knowing what's going to we'll be lurking around every single corner. Uh, we have to be extremely careful here. Now, I did see some coal on the side of the mountain somewhere here, and that's where we're going to just quickly get some coal, cook the rest of potatoes, and we're going back to the cave in this video. Welcome, guys. Uh, this is a lot going on, and if you're just now tuning in, you're just now watching the channel, I am so sorry that it has took you this long to find this video and to, well, start partaking in this community that we have here, but don't worry. We welcome everyone with open arms. Subscribe. Hit the like button. A like provides us with a prayer, a very, very much so needed thing during the times of investigating mysteries in Minecraft that have haunting auras around them this eerie feeling i get from this world is unlike any other and i have to say i am constantly worried about what is going to happen to our safety um let's go ahead and get the remaining coal here this is going to be plenty more than enough to bake up those last 40 pieces of potato once we bake those up we're going to have the fuel we need to fight anything that comes our way without hesitation now this enderman is sitting here with a block I don't like it. I don't like when Endermans just don't move like that. Why are you not moving, Enderman? You can move now. Teleport. Thank you. Oof, that's creepy. Now, 10 pieces of coal should fuel up that furnace with the amount needed. I don't know the ratio. I, I really don't. I don't know the numbers. How many pieces of coal does it take to make how, a certain number amount of potatoes? I don't know. But I can estimate it from the time that is going. We're going to get five or six potatoes out of a piece of coal here. That's pretty powerful. Okay, maybe not five. Maybe five. Yeah, maybe five or six was accurate. Um, We'll find out. It doesn't matter. Now, we have four potatoes now. We could just use these four potatoes to dive more into the investigation of the cave. Can we talk about the underwater villager? It doesn't make sense why he has a house underwater. Why it is appearing. A structure, a glitch, a mishap in the game files themselves to produce a house villager uh underwater i don't know I, I i still am conjuring up the idea on why this is a problem we're dealing with a creepy villager here we're dealing with creepy villagers villagers are doing odd things we are suspecting that one of the villagers in this village created a cross he he, he made a cross behind his house up here and on top of being doing making that cross he then alerted us by knocking on our, the front door while we were in the house inspecting this an unexpected placed armor stand what, what does that even mean what we don't know we did get leads lay, leading us to many emeralds going off into the cave that we're going to be going into today's video here in just a second after i get my potatoes now I'm a man that loves potatoes. I'm sure some other people are out there too, and there's nothing like a delicious baked potato to aid you in your journey. And if you disagree, you might not be a subscriber. Um, all right, 10 potatoes, that will fancy me quite well. That will fancy me quite well. That is all we need for now. We'll leave the rest cooking, and now we're heading back to the cave to perhaps regret, perhaps lead to our biggest regret of this world. Yet, I can only anticipate good news is not going to arrive from it, but what might arrive Later on, has he been... I, I, honestly, here's what I'm going to say. Listen to me. Listen. I think we might be able to kill this villager if we see him again. And once we kill him, my main interest is, what is he going to drop? Is he going to drop us an item of some sort? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really certain, but... I'm inspecting the landscape here, okay? I, I might be paranoid. I might be thinking I'm seeing things I shouldn't be seeing. But that is a- Oh! Ow! 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 Stupid rose bushes. You disgusting creatures. Alright, so we went into the cave here. Uh, we had this stuff sporadicked out through here, guys. Just absolutely mad. There's Steve heads. There's redstone. There's sounds that are creepy already from the, 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 the depths. Look at that. It's just nothing but darkness. You know what we have to do to darkness? We have to explore it. We have to eradicate it with light, which we will be doing with our mere 11 torches. I, I know I didn't plan this one out. Wait. Was this here before? You will regret coming here. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? What are you requesting here, villager? Is this your final request? It ain't even a request. 
You're saying, I will regret coming here. Why, why, why? That was not here a video or two ago. We were literally right here just in last, like the last video that we did uh, on this. Like we were, we were here and that was not here. So tell me why it's here now. A sign saying you will regret coming here. I don't quite understand. I can't believe how long it took me to see that. Like, I was just coming in here all excited, like, da 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 da. I didn't even recognize that there was a sign that said something creepy. <sighs> okay. Let's get to checking this out. I need to eat my potatoes right now. Guys, if you don't know, baked potatoes heal a good bit of hearts or hunger bars, and it is amazing. Alright, what was over here? Eey, that gets dark. Hold up. Why is the Steve heads just looking at me? Oh, it continues. I thought this was a dead end. Okay, hold off. Hold off on that, guys. I thought that was a dead end. Let's go check out this other one. I, I know there's got to be another... There, like, that, that one darkness area. You know what I think about this? I'm going to tell you what exactly what I think about this sign. That's what I think about your stupid sign. Actually. I will find you. Wherever you are, villager, I'm going to find you. Why you keep messing with me, I don't know. But let's see what's undone in here. Yep. There's the blood. It continues. Uh-oh. Something's lit up down there. Why is something lit up down there? I've not been down there before. The blood trail continues. There is something lit up down there. And I can only imagine it's going to be the one thing I don't want to find. The villager. Okay, he already left us a sign saying, you're going to regret coming here. It's going to be your biggest regret. And I'm aware. Okay, I'm, I'm aware. I need to stop taking this so lightly. Did we, did we inspect this? Is this a dead end too? Just let me check real quick. I'm gonna double check this. Okay. 100% dead end. All right, so that one cave, there's two parts of this cave that continues. We have an area that continues down with the blood that is leading towards a light, a, like an area that's lit up. Now, we're already getting another warning from the villager. And I think his final stretch here is us not going into this cave. For whatever reason, what's the secret behind it? What does it even matter? I don't think it would matter, right? I, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, it, it, it totally makes nothing but nonsense. But what I'm gonna do is in the next video, we are going to go down into this cave. We're gonna pick right off, we're gonna continue. Oh, what did you do today? Do, 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 do. Listen guys, I'm limited on time today. But that's fine, all right? I'm limited on time today, but what I can tell you guys, keep your eyes peeled, 1 p.m. EST for tomorrow's video. We're gonna pick right up where we left off. We're gonna come in and look at this. I gotta go get some food. I gotta go, I gotta go do normal stuff here, okay? On top of this investigation. But I'm going to be back on this soon, all right? And when we return, we're gonna go down to that cave, fully explore every part of the cave, the lit up part, everything. Then we're going to find more about why that villager was living underwater. What was his purpose of having that underwater lair? Oh, house. I mean, it's not like it's some deep lair. This is a lair. This is like something like a murderer's lair. Just a cave full of murders and the remnants of a horrible history. This is why I'm worried about what we're going to find. A lot of you have been playing this world yourself. I've been reading the comments. I've been looking over a lot of the comments. Sure enough, you guys have been finding things... That I have been finding. You know, the weird red nether rack part into the wall of the mountain. The villagers placing and doing odd things. I'm reading comments from viewers saying they're experiencing the same thing. I think this is great because it's not just me providing visual evidence that something is going on here. But you guys are also experiencing it alongside me and we're figuring this out. And that's exactly what we're doing. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, thank you. Usually we're leaving on a cliffhanger. But I, I didn't want to do that to you guys today. I want to give you guys just a one up like, hey... We're going to close the video out today, and then we're going to get into the serious stuff tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the next one.